Korean language enthusiast, 안녕하세요. It is officially 2018. 이천 시판 언니 됐어요. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how I make 떡국. 떡국 literally means rice cake soup. 떡 means rice cake and 국 means soup. So 떡국 literally translates to rice cake soup. Did you know that Koreans celebrate the arrival of the Lunar New Year called Solnal with a bowl of 떡국? Dokguk is basically eaten in the new year because the clear white broth symbolizes a fresh and clean start and the rice cake symbolizes the old Korean coin. So basically by consuming the rice cake, they believe that they will receive good luck and prosperity in the new year. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and I'll show you key vocabulary and also expressions related to cooking. So shall we start? 시작해볼까요? So, to start off, of course we need to gather our ingredients first. 먼저 필요한 재료 먼저 means first, 필요하다 means required or needed, and 재료 means ingredients. 떡, rice cakes. There are two types of 떡 named differently according to their shapes. The first one is 떡국도, which as it is from its name, sliced rice cakes, used for 떡국. The second one is 카레 떡 which is the round cylinder dok commonly used in tteokbokki. Mandu, dumplings. I've decided to add kimchi mandu to my tteokguk to make it more interesting. The traditional ones don't have mandu, so completely up to you if you want to add dumplings as well. Sogogi or suegogi. You can use either. Suegogi is an abbreviated form of soegogi, meaning cow's meat. So is cow. Gogi means meat. Some examples include Jigogi, pork, Dweji is pig. Mulgogi, fish, which literally translates to water meat. So it is equivalent to fish. And Yangogi is lamb. Yang is lamb. This is optional. You can marinate the beef by seasoning it with soy sauce, sugar, garlic, pepper, and sesame oil, etc. Yangnyong han sogogi du. It is okay or alright to use marinated beef as well. Kim Seaweed For you all K-drama lovers out there, I'm sure you will know that Kim is also one of the most popular Korean surnames along with Park and Lee. A bonus fact, Tashima is kelp in Korean. I thought I'd include it because it also belongs to the seaweed family. Next, moving on to the seasoning, we have chamkiru, sesame oil. I put two teaspoons of sesame oil. Chamkiru, two chakunsu. Huchu, pepper. I put half a teaspoon. Huchu, ban chakunsu. Or it is up to you, you can put as much as you like as well to taste. Yakkan, which means slightly. Sogun, salt. Again, I put in half a teaspoon, sogum han takunsu. You can also say, sogum uro imase make kanu heo. This basically means use the salt to season and match your taste. Itma is taste, make means correctly or appropriately, and kan is like seasoning in terms of taste. Gochujang. Red pepper or chilli paste. I like it a bit chilli since I don't have the actual red pepper, so I put in a bit more. One tablespoon. Gochujang han kunsu. Kanjang soy sauce. One tablespoon. Kanjang han kunsu. You don't need to put soy sauce as this will change the colour of your broth to a darker brown colour. So again, this is completely up to you and optional. Keram or dalgyal egg. Kerang is Sino-Korean and Dalgyal is pure Korean. I believe Kerang is more widely used and a famous Korean dish, steamed egg, is called Kerang Jim. It is super delicious and I absolutely love it. And lastly, Majima, Manu, garlic. After we've got the ingredients all sorted, now let's take a look at how to make Tokku. Tokguk mandu numbo. You can also say Tokguk recipe. Tokguk recipe. First of all, monjo, crack one egg. Kerang han keru geyo. Geda in this case means to break 
or crack. So, 계란 or 달걀은 그릇에 no 부러 준비해요. Prepare the egg by releasing it and placing it in a bowl. On in this case is the subject particle. Whisk the egg. Then soak the dog in cold water for approximately 10 to 15 minutes to soften them. It is completely up to you on how long you want to leave your dock in the cold water. It depends on how frozen your dock is. For me, shippun was enough. While you are soaking the rice cakes, you can prepare the other ingredients. So let's deal with the meat first. Cut the beef into thin slices. Sogogiru yakke seroyo. Yapta means thin. Yapke. The ke he makes an additive into an adverb. So yapke means thinly. Selta is to chop. Then fill a pot nembi with around 5 cups of water. It is up to you how much water you want to put depending on how much you are making. I have chosen 5 cups of water. Put it on medium heat, chung bul. Chung is medium and bul is fire. So chung bul is medium heat. Yak chung kang. Low, medium, high. Yak is low, chung is medium, and high is kang. Put the beef in boiling water and wait for around 10 to 15 minutes. Gutnun mule, sogo giru, no go, ship ship obun chom girado yo. Gunun mul is boiling water. Chom is like an approximation of around. So ship ship obun chom is around 10 to 15 minutes. Kidarida is the plain form of kidado yo to wait. Dice the garlic. Manu u tacho yo. Manu which we reviewed earlier is garlic. Ul is an object particle for a consonant because manu nu ends in a consonant. So ul is used in this case. Tachida is to mince or dice. So dice the garlic. Manu tacho yo. Or dice garlic is tachin manu. Skim the scum from the surface of the simmering beef broth. Basically removing any residue coming from the meat. Kukmuli kuki shita kamyon. Ola on koki ko pum ul che ko heyo. Kukmul is soup. Kuki is boil. Kuki shijakada is start to boil. Umyon means when or if. So shijakamyon means when it boils. Olida means to put on top and olla on means risen. Kogi kopun is meat bubbles. Te kohada is to remove. It is time to put in our kimchi dumplings. Yay! Manduru no yo. Again, notta means to put in. Stir and let it simmer on low heat. Do you remember what is low heat? I'll give you three seconds to think. Hana, du, se. Yes, it is yakbul. Yakbul. Tokuk tokun, mule damga du go, shippun chom kida doyo. Put in dock when water boils and wait for around 10 minutes. This will depend on how hard your dock is. Mine is not too hard, so 10 minutes was enough. Yang nom do no yo. Also put in the seasoning. Do is a particle attached to a noun for emphasis meaning also or to. So in this case, put in your salt, sesame oil and wait until it boils again.
Once it boils again, cook on low heat and swell in the beaten egg. 불러 놓은 계란을 원을 그리듯 돌려 가며 넣어요. 그리듯 means to draw. 원을 그리듯 is like a circle. So literally means swell in the beaten egg. <laughs> 마지막으로 김가루를 올려요. 올리다 is to put. Prepare the kim, slice it into small pieces. Mine didn't turn out that well, so I recommend you to use scissors to cut it up. Or you may use the package dried kim, which are already cut for you. Now the golden moment. Time to serve. This dish is literally the easiest dish you can ever make. Hmm, 떡국 만들기가 너무 쉽죠? Finally, this is optional. If you have spring onions, their pa and red pepper go to, you may chop it up and use them for garnishing. That's it and it's that simple. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. I would really appreciate it if you could show some support to Let's Korea Time by hitting the like button and also commenting below. Let me know what sort of content you'd like to see and I will see you in my next video. Bye!